Huawei has made a strategic and monumental investment in a new R&D facility aimed at developing advanced chip-making machinery. This initiative represents a significant step for the Chinese tech giant in its quest for self-sufficiency, particularly in light of the ongoing US trade restrictions. The facility, which is currently under construction near Shanghai, spans an area equivalent to 224 football fields and is expected to house over 35,000 employees. This ambitious project underscores Huawei's commitment to overcoming the technological barriers imposed by the lack of access to cutting-edge EUV chip-making tools. The R&D Center's primary objective is to create chip-making tools that can rival those produced by industry leaders such as ASML, Canon and Nikon. This move is critical for Huawei and its foundry partners, SMIC and Hua Hong, who are currently limited to 28 nanometers lithography systems due to US export controls. By developing its own advanced machinery, Huawei aims to break free from these constraints and enhance its competitive edge in the semiconductor market. This venture is not without its challenges. The financial burden of such a massive project is substantial, with Huawei reportedly investing around 12 billion yen, approximately $1.66 billion, so far. Moreover, the company faces significant hurdles in recruiting top talent due to restrictions on hiring US citizens and green card holders. Despite these obstacles, Huawei remains focused on building a robust and innovative semiconductor ecosystem that can sustain its technological ambitions in the long run. The journey towards 5 nanometers and beyond. Huawei and SMIC's collaborative efforts to develop 5 nanometers chipsets using older deep ultraviolet DUV lithography machines represent a crucial milestone in China's semiconductor industry. Rumours and speculations suggest that SMIC has successfully completed the taping out phase for these chips, a significant step from design to production. This achievement, if true, highlights the ingenuity and resilience of Chinese companies in the face of technological restrictions. However, the journey towards smaller and more efficient chips is fraught with challenges. The absence of extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, which are essential for manufacturing chips at 3 nanometers and beyond, poses a significant technological ceiling. To address this, Huawei has filed a patent for self-aligned quadruple patterning SAQP lithography, a potential alternative for producing 3 nanometers chips. Despite this innovative approach, Huawei and SMIC remain behind leading foundries like TSMC and Samsung, which are already progressing towards 2 nanometers technology. The successful development of 5 nanometers chipsets by SMIC and Huawei could have significant implications for the global semiconductor market. It could enhance the performance and efficiency of Huawei's future devices, potentially leading to the debut of these chips in the Huawei Mate 70 series later this year. This development also underscores the importance of indigenous innovation and the strategic benefits of reducing dependency on foreign suppliers. Huawei's resurgence in the smartphone market. Huawei's comeback in the tech industry is nothing short of remarkable. Despite being placed on a US trade blacklist and facing severe restrictions, Huawei has managed to reclaim its position as a leading player in the smartphone market. The company's in-house operating system, Harmony OS, now powers over 900 million smartphones, a testament to its rapid development and widespread adoption. This resurgence is particularly evident in the performance of Huawei's flagship smartphones. Sales of these devices surged by 72% in the first five months of 2024, compared to the same period in the previous year. This growth is driven by the popularity of models like the Mate 60 Pro which features a sophisticated processor that has caught the attention of both industry experts and competitors. Huawei's ability to innovate and adapt in the face of adversity has been a key factor in its comeback. The company has not only revived its smartphone business, but has also ventured into new areas such as electric vehicles and artificial intelligence. Its AI framework, powered by Ascend processors, is reportedly more effective in training large language models than mainstream international offerings, highlighting Huawei's competitive edge in this field. The company's financial performance has also seen a significant improvement. 
Huawei's net profits soared by 564% to $2.71 billion in the first quarter of 2024, driven by strong revenue growth in its consumer segment and new business ventures. This robust financial health provides a solid foundation for Huawei to continue its expansion and innovation in the tech industry. Impact on the global smartphone market Huawei's resurgence has had a notable impact on the global smartphone market, particularly in China. During the 618 shopping festival period from May 20th to June 16th, Huawei led in smartphone sales, recording a 42.4% increase compared to the previous year. This impressive growth was fueled by strong demand for its new 5G products, reflecting the company's successful strategy in leveraging its technological advancements. The overall smartphone market in China also experienced growth during this period, with total sales rising by 6.8% year on year. Other major players like Xiaomi and Apple also saw increases in their sales, albeit at a slower pace compared to Huawei. Xiaomi's sales rose by 12.6%, while Apple's increased by 2.7%. Huawei's success in the Chinese market has significant implications for its global competitors. The company's increasing market share has directly impacted Apple, which saw its leading position in China's smartphone market decline. According to CounterPoint research, Apple's market share fell from 20% in the first quarter of 2023 to 15.7% in the first three months of 2024, while Huawei's market share rose from 9.3% to 15.5% during the same period. This shift in market dynamics highlights the competitive nature of the smartphone industry and the challenges faced by established players in maintaining their dominance. Huawei's ability to rebound and capture market share underscores the importance of continuous innovation and adaptation in an ever-evolving tech landscape. Huawei's strategic maneuvers and global impact. Huawei's efforts to circumvent US sanctions have involved not just investment in new technologies, but also strategic maneuvers within the semiconductor industry. Reports indicate that Huawei has been actively hiring experienced semiconductor engineers from leading chip makers such as TSMC, Intel and Micron. These recruitment efforts are part of a broader strategy to build a self-sufficient semiconductor ecosystem in China. Additionally, there have been allegations of Huawei creating a covert network of semiconductor plants across China, ostensibly to bypass international restrictions on acquiring chip-making equipment. Moreover, Huawei's unexpected release of the Mate 60 Pro during a high-profile US visit to China highlighted the company's progress in developing advanced chips domestically. The phone, powered by the proprietary Kirin 9000S chip and manufactured by SMIC using advanced 7 nanometers technology, demonstrated significant advancements despite the absence of EUV tools. This achievement not only showcases Huawei's resilience, but also poses a geopolitical challenge, potentially prompting the US to impose even stricter sanctions on Chinese tech firms. Analysts have noted that this development underscores China's determination and capability to advance its semiconductor technology independently, raising the stakes in the ongoing tech rivalry between the US and China. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Huawei's groundbreaking advancements and strategic moves in the tech industry. We hope you found the information insightful and engaging. If you found any value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analyses and updates on the latest tech developments. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.